Amphibian airplanes. These are some of the most uniquely designed aircraft in aviation. And if you're a pilot and you've never landed on water before, you should at least try it once. Welcome to Mojo Group, Mike here. Today we're gonna compare two of the best low entry options for you to consider if you're looking to buy a plane that can land on water. Both these aircraft are in the light sport category, which means you only need a sport pilot license to fly one. They both have two seats and they both run on the Rotax 912. But the best part, as I said, is that you can land it both on a pavement and on water. As we've done before, we're gonna compare four different categories for these planes, and we're going to find out which one is the better plane for the money. So let's get into it. We're checking out the C-Max and the Super Patrol. The first category is your mission. Whether you're buying an amphibian airplane or any type of airplane, your mission should always come first. And if you're looking at an amphibian, you're likely either close to the water or you want to fly somewhere that's close to the water. And these two planes in particular are built for just that. When you consider the C-Max or the Super Patrol, you have two seats, which means you can only carry one passenger. And being in a light sport category, you do have some limitations. Both these planes are actually in the special light sport category because you have retractable landing gear. But when you think about your overall mission, these are planes you can either have a fun weekend in, go grab a burger at a lakeside restaurant somewhere, or if you're the cross country flyer, these planes can go up to six hours without needing to stop. So you're not just limited to flying short distance, both the C-Max or the Super Patrol can get you up to 500 miles without having to stop. Head to head with the mission, they both get the check mark. Next is the design. As you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now, if you had this plane standing next to each other, they look very similar, basically built like a boat. But if you look closer at the Super Patrol, you can see that this is a biplane, meaning you have two sets of wings on each side. And this wasn't done just for looks, the second wing actually serves a purpose. So the Super Patrol has a more lenient stall characteristics than other planes in the same class. Also, it's worth noting that both these planes are designed in Brazil. And both the C-Max and the Super Patrol claims to have an anti-flip feature. What this means is if you were to land on top of water without the wheels being retracted, then you don't face the danger of the airplane flipping over. This is certainly not a feature I would recommend anyone to test out. Unlike the Super Patrol, with the C-Max, you actually have a better practical airplane. The C-Max has wings that are foldable and you can also fold in the tail, which makes for easy towing. And depending on your preference, you will have different avionics in any of these airplanes. The Super Patrol, for example, the last time I flew this airplane had the Diamond Sky View, which is a state-of-the-art glass avionics. But in the C-Max, the only available avionics is the Garmin G3X Touch. So when you consider your options, I don't think you lose with either airplanes. Next, the performance. Truthfully, there's really no comparison here. Both these airplanes use the same power plant in the Rotax 912. I do remember the Super Patrol being able to upgrade to a Rotax 915. What you get is an extra turbo for those who live in a high density area. But in terms of your climb rate and your cruise speed, both these airplanes are pretty much the same. You can also consider the Super Patrol or the C-Max a stole aircraft. You don't need that much runway to be able to take off or land in this airplane. You're either up or down within 500 feet. And your cruise speed in either airplane is about 115 miles per hour. Because of the option to upgrade to turbo in the Super Patrol, we'll give it the extra edge when it comes to performance. And the last thing we're going to look at here is the price. Just as important as your mission, how much you're going to spend for any airplane is extremely important. So how much do these planes cost? With the Super Patrol fully loaded with IFR avionics, you're looking at $190,000. The C-Max on the other hand gives you more of the same thing, but for $20,000 less. Similar airplane, same power plant, 
and you're only paying $170,000 for a fully loaded C-Max. Again, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these options, but because the C-Max costs $20,000 less, we're going to give it an edge over the Super Patrol. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, a great way to support Mojo Grip is to subscribe. Please subscribe with the notification bell on. Also, we are on Facebook. Please follow Mojo Grip on the Facebook page. Check the link in the description below. And I wanna give a big thank you for those of you who have supported through Patreon. If you're looking to support Mojo Grip, you can either become a paid member here or head onto our Patreon page, link in the description below. Thank you so much and I will catch you on the next video.